This video will show you how to use the updated 2015 standalone phosphorus site index software. Soil map unit information has been updated by NRCS since the 2013 version of the standalone PSI, and these differences have the capability of changing PSI scores. You can import files from previous versions of the standalone PSI into the 2015 version by clicking the Open File icon and navigating to the saved PSI file on your computer. You can also build a new PSI scenario from scratch. The standalone PSI has data entry tabs along the top of the window. On each screen, anything in bold is required and must be entered before the program will either print or provide you with final score. Boxes with a white background require you to enter information. On some tabs, you will see boxes with a blue background, which populate based on what you enter in the white boxes. Boxes with a yellow background will calculate values based on information entered elsewhere. Also look for clickable data entry buttons, which will be pointed out as we continue. On the Farmer and Consultant tab, enter the name and address of the farmer for whom you are writing the plan, as well as your certification and license number if you are a private consultant or University of Maryland Extension advisor. Certified farm operators will only have a certification number to enter. If you need to calculate PSIs on multiple fields, add fields to the scenario by clicking on Edit Add Field. The arrow buttons on the bottom of the screen will allow you to navigate among multiple fields. On the Field tab, enter the county, tract, or farm name, field name or number, account ID, watershed ID, dominant map unit symbol for the field, and acreage of the field. The watershed ID can be determined from county maps available from the Maryland Department of Agriculture. On the bottom right-hand side of the page, enter the soil test lab and lab phosphorus results. Notice that the Field tab has a red X, indicating that not all information has been entered on this page. Once the lab phosphorus data has been entered, the red X turns to a green check mark to let you know that all necessary information on this page has been entered. Clickable buttons on this page allow you to toggle between acres and square feet for field area measurements and to choose a method for entering Russell data. The Nutrient Management Program strongly recommends that consultants calculate Russell information using the Russell 2 software available from NRCS. Russell 2 provides the greatest number of options for customizing erosion estimates to obtain the most accurate results. Using this method, you will calculate a Russell A value, or soil erosion estimate, in the Russell 2 software, and you will choose option 3 for entering Russell information into the standalone PSI. With this option selected, you will not have access to the tabs for calculating individual Russell factors, and instead will be directed to the Index Part A tab. On the Index Part A tab, enter the Russell A value, or soil erosion value, and the field slope. Click the button under Artificial Drainage to indicate whether the field is drained artificially by ditches or tile drains. Click the button under Concave to indicate whether the field is concave and therefore upslope erosion is deposited within the field. Next, indicate the appropriate values for distance to surface water, width of permanent vegetative buffer, and the width of a no-P application zone currently in use by the farmer. To change selections here, you will first have to unselect the green highlighted choice before the program will let you choose a different option. Next, click on the Index Part B tab. Again, fields with white backgrounds should be edited by you. Enter the recommended fertilizer or manure phosphorus that was generated by Newman Software or by your private sector software. Fertilizer phosphorus is entered in the white box on the left side of the table, and manure or other organic source of phosphorus is entered in the white box on the right side of the table. You can enter information for split applications by entering the total amount in the white box and manually entering the amount that will be put down in the first application. The remaining amount will be shifted to the second application column. This can be done again to shift an amount to the third application column. For each application, indicate the method of incorporation from the descriptions in the table and check the appropriate box in the corresponding application column. If you are applying an organic source of phosphorus, you must also choose the phosphorus source coefficient, which differs for different types of organic amendments based on the amount of soluble phosphorus expected to be in that type of material. At this point, the phosphorus loss rating for the selected practices should be displayed on the bottom of the screen. If no value appears or the box is filled with asterisks, go back to previous screens and make sure you have entered all the necessary information. 
That brings us to the end of this tutorial on how to use the 2015 standalone PSI. Thank you.